Hello everybody, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fille de la Mer and today I am testing out a new soap formula featuring daikon seed extract and this is the daikon seed extract I get from Miss Doyle Soapery. Um, I've been wanting to make soap with daikon seed extract because in shampoos, uh, conditioners, beard oils or moisturizing oil for your skin, it gives a great slip and non-greasy feeling to the skin. So I figured it would be great in soap. I found the sap value, uh, all of the fatty acid profiles, I inputted them into my software and formulated a soap with it. I'm also including some acai berry oil into uh, this soap blend at a little over 3%. Acai berry oil uh, comes from Paris Fragrance USA and it is really green, like dark green. And I'm wondering if it will stay true in soap, uh, color-wise. Now, it is a very nourishing oil, which I hope will add extra benefits and skin-loving properties to this soap. My two local ingredients are local seawater, as well as a coriander hydrosol made with my copper alembics. And uh, you can click the link right up there as I have a video of the making of uh, coriander hydrosol from last summer. The first step is measuring out my water to make the light water. And here I am including my local seawater. And I am doing a quite of a steep water discount because I will be using the hydrosol as well, uh, but not in the lye solution. So I'm taking that into account and reducing my water for the lye water. I am now gonna measure out my lye and I have this uh, lye bucket or container that clips on and is really difficult to open. And um, lye should always be stored away from pets and children if you make soap from home because it is a dangerous chemical when uh, on its own. Our lye water is mixed into a different room of the soap shop, not in the main soaping area, and we always do so in a very well ventilated area. While the lye solution is cooling down, I will be portioning out my oils and butters, and then we will be back when everything is ready to soak. All of my hard oils and butters are melted. I went ahead and added my olive oil as well as the daikon seed extract from Miss Doyle's. Now uh, here is the acai berry oil from Paris Fragrance USA. You can see that it's really dark green in color and I will go ahead and include it uh, in the stock pot just so that you can see the difference between the other oils and this one once I add it. This will be a really uh, interesting experiment as I have never made or seen soap made with acai berry oil. So let's put everything in there. Okay, mix it up. So even at a low percentage of the formula, it does uh, make the oil base slightly darker. And I'm really excited to see the color of the soap batter when we do add the lye water. Before adding the light water, I'm going to go ahead and emulsify in my coriander hydrosol. And already we can see the color of the oils a little better because this is emulsifying even though there's no lye in the um, hydrosol. As for my essential oil blend, um, I am using a blend of tangerine essential oil a little little bit of vetiver and also clove bud now um, clove bud is very low in this mix so the main essential oil is tangerine um, also spicy essential oils can be skin irritants so this is why i'm keeping it really really low in this formula as well as the fact that they can accelerate trace so what i did is i split my essential oils into five equal parts and i will be splitting my batter as I go um, in equal parts and adding the essential oils one at a time. 
And then I will do a gradient soap starting from no added clay to green clay in different concentrations. So here I added just a little bit of green clay and then I doubled that amount and then I doubled and then I doubled all the way to here where you can see that it's really dark because there's a lot of green clay in this last one. And I'm using um, Brazilian green clay from Paris Fragrances USA. Okay, let's get everything that we don't need out of the way and make this soap happen. Here comes the salt water lye solution. This is a rather new soap formula that I'm trying. Um, and so far, it doesn't seem to be wanting to accelerate trace. Some base oil, uh, such as castor oil, when used over 10% or even sometimes below 10% will accelerate trace. And I'm using at least 10% of the daikon seed extract in this recipe. So I'm pretty happy that it's a nice and slow mover. Now there's no essential oil, no fragrance yet in here. So we will see about that <laughs> in just a moment. All right, I find that this is a really nice emulsification which is right before trace will happen and this is when I want to split my soap uh, so that I can integrate my colorants or my clays in this case colorants being clay I mark the amount of soap that I need to split on my stock pot so that I don't forget how much batter to pour out and there we go right at the mark because the tangerine essential oil is really orange i'm assuming it may affect the color of the final soap maybe maybe not we'll see so nice and fluid shake my mold to make sure that I have a full layer of this batter and we'll start the process over again. I'm really really happy to be doing a, an ombre soap. Um, I'm not waiting for my first layer to completely harden up um, but because I want uneven and broken layers as when I do layered soap like the rainbow soap or the fresh garden mint, I like to have perfectly straight layers, but right now I am not looking for perfect. So I'm really excited and can't wait to cut this soap. It may be straight though, because it is hardening, hardening up rather fast. Hmm. So I poured the second layer and I'm about to portion out the third layer. The green Brazilian clay and I'm just going to stir it up to disperse the clay. Make sure everything goes in here. And stick blend this one. color is very nice. It's very um, olive green kind of a color. It smells great. I love the blend. Okay, shake it. <laughs> Start over. Okay. I will keep the bottom of this just to make a kind of a design on top 
with the colors. Here's the last of the essential oils in clay. Let's gently mix those in. And you can see that the color, again, is a little bit darker than the previously poured layer. Ah, can't wait to cut this one. It will be so beautiful. <laughs> just shake it a little <laughs> everything shakes when I shake my molds <laughs> here is the remainder of my soap batter from the stock pot as well as the little portion that I had saved at the beginning so my stock pot was very fluid and the first layer was getting kind of thick so I mixed those two together and I have a really nice um, texture now to Put on top of this soap so that we can have a reminder of what was underneath right there on top and i'll be able to texture the top and do something fun and i have my marks on my molds and i will start just playing with the batter I think that the last time that I made an ombre soap was the Alkanet uh, infusion soap. It was such a long time ago. Now it's time to wait, insulate this soap, and come back to cut it in a few hours or tomorrow. We'll see, I think it'll be tomorrow. Um, depending on the hardness, I come and check back my soaps every few hours, and when I feel that they're ready to cut, whatever the time, I cut them. Um, so stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs> I've been told that if you put the mold on its side, it's, and especially if you do like um, textured tops or embeds or high tops, if you pipe your soaps, um, it may be a good idea to unmold this way so then you don't have to flip it over and put a mat underneath. So this is what I'm uh, testing out. Uh, now, I've, this is the second time I'm doing this and because the mold is really easy to release, it's rather easy to do and the mold is very uh, flexible and it will go right back into position right after. I have to say I am really pleased with the outcome of the soap. Um, even though I didn't really want the layers to be perfectly straight, they are because uh, the clove bud essential oil was hardening the layers as I was pouring them. So it's great. Um, I guess I also do like straight layers, but I was not necessarily holding on to that thought, but the layers are just perfect. It smells divine, the tangerine and the clove bud with the undertone of vetiver are just a perfect match. I am super happy of the outcome of this um, soap with daikon seed extract as well as acai berry oil. I hope you've enjoyed the process of making it. Next step, we'll be letting it harden up for about three to four weeks before I test it out and make it available for my customers. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, by clicking the links that I'm leaving um, <laughs> over here somewhere in the screen. And um, I will also have links in the description box below the video. If you have like any questions, also leave them in the comments. I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.